So here's a pair of uh, Nike sneakers that always had, uh, I suppose, my attention, but I never ever bought them. And uh, they are kind of weird and unique, which I am a, I'm a fan of sort of trainers, just looking different and unique. And so this is the Nike Airrift OG, and this is in the Concord and Varsity base. I did try to pick up the black colorway because that's something I suppose I'd wear more. However, with this one, um, you know, I've got them in hand. I'm not sure of the colorway itself and probably won't be keeping this particular pair, but I do like the, the way they're sort of constructed and the way they look. And this was a pair that was originally released in uh, 1996 and it was made as a, I suppose, a running shoe and tried to be sort of as, as neutral as possible. So almost giving that sort of barefoot feeling, hence why the, the split toe design. And this also has sort of minimal Nike branding. It seems to be a sort of common occurrence, especially sort of in the sort of mid late nineties. Um, they kind of get got away from the swoosh a bit and some of the silhouettes that they released, you know, had a more of a sort of plainer design, almost sort of uh, going towards sort of lifestyle uh, use. And this was originally designed by um, someone called uh, Kip Buck and also the legendary uh, Tinker Hatfield. And you can probably see the influence all over that from a, a, you know, a Tinker Hatfield sneaker. So with the details, this comes in a, a Concord Varsity Maze College Orange, White and Black colorway. And you can probably see the oranges on the, the swoosh and the sock liner. And then you've got the this kind of Concord color going around the sneaker and the majority of it. And then the rest is Varsity Maze, which is this kind of almost sort of orangey uh, yellow color. And uh, like I said, not my first choice in colors, but it's still different. And these are also have an Air Max unit in the heel. So that's what makes this different. It kind of feels, I suppose, similar to like a, a, a Harachi in that way. And this has an EVA midsole. Some online, it's on some places, it sort of says Phylon midsole, but it doesn't feel like a Phylon midsole. And I think maybe it's slightly too early for Phylon uh, technology from Nike anyway at that time period. And this has an ultra mesh uh, sort of neoprene upper. So you can see here, sort of very breathable, lightweight as well. Not the most uh, sort of comfortable, I suppose. Uh, you can't don't feel it too much on the inside, but it's got that kind of sort of roughy texture to it. So. That's the thing I don't like, but at the same time, that does mean it's hard wearing and to some degree, maybe even sort of waterproof. And the price on these were £110. So with the comfort and sizing, these have a, a medium sole. And uh, what the thing about them as well is because they quite sort of fit low to the ground, they feel quite sort of nice on feet. And I, I don't feel like they're uncomfortable. They're actually really comfortable in my eyes. Like maybe it's me and the type of um, you know, foot I have and the, the amount of weight that I put on them, I find them like really, really comfortable. Not sort of soft and squishy, but you do feel the air unit in there and the sock liner feels nice and sort of spongy as well. Um, but you know, there's not a lot of give to it, but when you're wearing them, it feels, feels nice on feet. And being a runner, it does have sort of good neutral support around the arch. And I think, um, you know, when, when, when you put the sneakers on, it does have this sort of contoured shape and kind of almost slightly going down, downwards, not too much. It's not that much of a drop. But you can kind of feel, you know, that it, it, the sock liner, the insole does sort of feel sort of contoured and you can sort of feel that bump kind of uh, up here. Uh, it's not too much, but it's still, you know, enough to kind of give, give you a nice feel of foot. And obviously there's no wear in time with this. It's completely adjustable because it's got a really, really flexible upper. And then you've got the strap and the back strap as well to kind of lock you in place. Um, I, you know, I think it works well in my opinion, which I was surprised about. And the thing with these, it's a bit of an odd sizing. They kind of come in sort of half sizes. So if you're a, you know, true size, say seven, then you, you have to go up to, to the half size. I wouldn't go uh, down um, a half size. I just think they feel too snug then, but obviously everyone's different. But for me, I can make do with uh, 7.5 and it's what I tend to wear in mesh runners anyway. So for this one, it worked for me, but uh, for some people it wouldn't. But for most people, you can probably adjust this back strap here and it will kind of push you forward just a little bit more. And it doesn't feel uncomfortable, it still feels fine because when you have this on foot, it does feel okay. Like there's no sort of issues I found anyway with the like pressure or anything like that. Um, so yeah, you know, it does work for a wide variety of feet. And it has this kind of uh, sort of waffle pattern on the outsole. And uh, as far as I can sort of see, it works well. And it's got quite a lot of sort of indentations and grooves where, you know, it's quite sort of flexible on your feet. So obviously when you're 
running or walking you know there's a lot of flexibility there. there's no sort of uh, funky technology in there but I think it's more in terms of how it's been built and the architecture of it um, but it just feels really nice like I say and flexible so with the look and style I do like the zesty colors it's not something that I would wear myself but I do kind of appreciate it and it's uh, different from the norm and like I said it almost reminds me of like a, a Harachi sort of colorway and it's a good one for spring summertime I think it's probably more of a, a feminine shoe if I'm honest because it does look you know like a uh, a, a sandal uh, really but I think if I had a, a black colorway I would probably wear them and it'd be one of those things that I would wear sort of mainly you know in a casual setting but I think it's one of those sneakers similar to like a foam runner perfect to take away on holiday with you and I would also say it's one of the only trainers I would recommend probably not to wear socks because of the split toe unless you can find socks with split toes um, I think you know with this one it kind of is made for sort of barefoot uh, walking and running really and you know for that purpose it works well and you, you won't feel that heated up either because of the ventilation that's in there and I would probably prefer to wear these and wearing sort of sandals I suppose and the fact that they're laces as well just makes it really easy to sort of slip on and slip off so with the final thoughts I like the comfortability I was surprised by how comfortable they are it's not like anything magical that's going on but they feel very sort of neutral on foot and there's enough sort of cushioning there as well in my opinion and like I say, as you're walking, it, it, it feels, you know, like it's, it's pushing you forward as well, which is a nice thing. And I like the adjustable straps as well. That's a good thing that they included that because of the sizing, you know, options that they have, you have, you have to find that perfect fit. And this is the only way to do it with you know, having flexibility on the straps. And I like the fact that it's breathable. So, you know, it's one of those sort of things that if you're sort of taking it away on holiday, going to a hot country, then it's perfect for that kind of stuff. Uh, cons are, I think sizing I still would have preferred it if they had more sort of size options but at the end of the day it is what it is and it seems to be mostly women's sizing as well and I suppose colour color and silhouette isn't for everyone you know when I first had a look at these I was a bit like nah it's not for me but I actually kind of like them now and I uh, think they're really cool and uh, you know depending on what you're going to be wearing them for so with the look and style I give it a 4 out of 5 yes it is different divisive it's, yes it is it's not something that everyone would uh, tend to wear but if you're looking for sort of a barefoot uh, sneaker then this is the perfect one to get and I think the comfort I'm going to give it a five I just really like the way they look feel on feet and it might just be me but I, you know it's one of the few trainers where I'm not you know feel like uh, I can wear this pretty much all day and have uh, no issues and feels very sort of neutral on foot and the quality I'm going to give it a four I think um you know I don't know how much they could improve the quality but I think it's just the materials really but at the same time they are breathable and they serve their purpose and usually what I find with this neoprene sock material it, it lasts for a long time and the pricing I give that a five I think for 110 pounds you know it's, it's a good value in my opinion I think they you know, have quite a lot of sort of techy tech in there as well and the way they're built and they still quite look futuristic to me as well and that's why overall I give the score like a 4 out of 5. I think it's you know, pretty much a perfect sneaker. Like I think for me, it's just a colorway that is not the same as you know buying the, I suppose, black version. If I had the black version, maybe I'd probably give it a higher rating. But uh, it's you know just a very cool, unique sneaker and probably way, way ahead of its time as well, in my opinion. 